Hello, you. Where's the game? There's the game. How are we, folks? I'll just let everyone uh, catch up. How are we, folks? Happy Monday afternoon. Happy Monday morning. Happy Monday night. Happy Tuesday. In some places, right? Oh, that's crazy. Right? Isn't the world crazy? How are you doing, folks? Just let you uh, just chat. I always chat for like a thirty seconds or so to make sure people understand uh, understand me. <laughs> Slow chat sucks ass. It sure does, but uh, with this many people in, look how quick the chat's moving. Even with slow chat on, I can't keep up. Moin. Have we got any bros and brodettes in from the Bro Nation? Been on there all morning looking at all the new stuff. God, it's crazy how good some of the people on there are. Only found you recently, but I've been loving your content. Glad to make a stream. Welcome, Majestic Wolfie. Good name. Oh, the sun's coming out. It's not good. The sun comes right in on the screen, so I shut the curtains. Before I shut the curtains, my face is too dark. Monday for me, yeah, Monday for most, but it's got to be, it's got to be Tuesday in some places of the world, right? Da, 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 da. Hi, baller. Hi, Brian. My wife's just texted me saying you're in the chat. Sorry, the chat moves so fast I can't see it properly. Um, how's it going, my friend? Very well, thank you. The PC is, as you can tell by me being on <laughs> video, the PC is going great. Um, yeah, it's handling Planet Zoo like a beast. Everything's on Ultra, and it's awesome. Thank you so much. Hope you're well. Um, right, let me just tweet about uh, going live, and then we'll get started. We're going to try something a bit different today. We're going to have a go at franchise mode videos. Resources. Here we go. Let's drop one of them in. Starting a franchise mode zoo in Planet. I was going to say quite close then. Planet Zoo game. Come hang out. Okay, so we're here for a few hours at least, maybe more, if we get into a vibe. We'll see how we get on. Uh, okay. Uh, will Planet Zoo come out on Mac or any other place? No announcements as of yet. Um, I, w I would have always said no, but we've just had an announcement that Planet Coaster's coming to console, so who knows what's happening in the world now. First time here, love watching you play this. Hi, Stevie. Welcome. Uh, play Planet Zoo comes out on Xbox. Maybe in the future, who knows? Uh, my fifth franchise failed at 100k. Mo wow, God! So really, even once you're up and running, it can still bad, uh, still be bad. Where are you originally from? You sound British. I'm originally from a place called Cannock in South Staffordshire, in the UK. Uh, today's my daughter's first birthday. Stacy, congratulations to your daughter. That's awesome. First birthday. You've managed a year of looking after that potato. Well done. It's all uphill from here. Right, franchise. Let's have a look at this then. Close that so it doesn't beep all the time and wind people up. Right then, yeah, franchise mode. Basically, the reason I'm doing this is um, I'm just I'm not really feeling the career mode of the game to be honest with you. Um, it's taking a bit too long to do anything in it. It's quite limiting. Um, yeah, I'm just I'm not particularly enjoying it to be honest with you. And I, and I, and I hate making content for content's sake. So. Um, Welcome, Autumn. Thanks for stuff. Thanks for coming in and hanging out and helping out. Uh, new subscriber, welcome, Kawaii Pixie. Yeah, I'm not really feeling the career mode. So we've got one more where we're going to finish Maple Leaf, and then we're going to put the career mode on the big of the back burner. Uh, not too far. Yeah, Tamworth. I know Tamworth well. Uh, put that on the back burner and play some career, uh, franchise mode instead because I really just I'm not enjoying the, the limitations of career mode, and it, it, it's nothing against the game. It's just not how I enjoy playing. Um, Thank you, Paulsley. Can't stop, so this will replace me today. Thank you very much, my friend. Paulsley's an, another awesome content creator. If you want to check him out, uh, please do. Loads of awesome tutorials, loads of videos. His his um his sandbox park's really nice. It's got a weird name, Pan Panchu or something. I'm I've totally forgot now, but I've been enjoying the videos anyway. So yes, franchise mode, career mode, pretty similar. I kind of like the idea of it being online and being difficult to get animals and stuff. So we're gonna play franchise, and also I want some of the free stuff that people are getting from doing the birthing gorillas and stuff kind of hate the fact that i'm missing out on cool outfits so 
Yes. Franchise management. So we'll, Geekism's fine. That's not a very good badge, though. Um, I kind of like the flower. I kind of like the... Where's that red panda? I've been messing with red pandas all week. Oh, yeah. I like the red panda. Oh, no. It's got to be the panda. With the banner of... Oh, I like the world. Oh, I like the flowers. Oh, I like the giraffe. Is there a giraffe head? We might go full giraffe. Welcome to Jaunty Picks. Do you know what? I set up Disney Plus the other day. I spent about an hour picking the character that you have on your face. I went for Darth Vader in the end because I'm a baller. The Brit in America is back to watch the Brit in Canada. Welcome back. Mainly since build on my channel, but we're thinking about Planet Zoo because the building is has much less limitations. Um, it's it's incredible how many um, Planet uh, how many Sims players are, are migrating over to Planet Zoo at the minute. There's, I'm getting a lot of big Sims players follow me on Twitter, and I can only assume it's because they're showing an interest in Planet Zoo. Uh, so number of zoos zero in your zoos nothing zoo cash wow number of guests wow okay visiting status uh allows your avatar to visit other players zoos as well as others to be able to visit your zoos your franchise identity will be shared with them unless you want to keep them anonymously no 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 that's fine um okay so new zoo let's go let's play it safe temperate let's go temperate europe okay let's just start simple okay Let's just start simple and see how we get on. Um, you can grab some animals for cash if you feel CC is slow or sort after sound strong refresh. That's how I got here. Yes, probably that's what we'll do. Obviously, you can't sell them back though, right? Never you can change your icon. Oh, well, there you go. Learn something every day, don't you? Okay, so we'll start here. The zoo is going to be called... Um, let's call it Geekwin House as a nod to the um, Goodwin House that we start with. Um... And we'll create. Here we go. Franchise zoo. See, achievements. A lot of the achievements are locked to franchise as well. Um, so that's another reason I want to I want to kind of play. Okay, so can we, we can pause, right? Yo-Yo Smuggler. Hoping this stream stays on for four more hours until the end of my shift. Oof. I'm not sure about four hours, my friend. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you very much for the, the uh, generous donation. No, that's incredible. Um... Uh, name it can it oh can chase will be a good name actually yeah uh what is your actual name it isn't actually jaunty right no it, it, okay so i mentioned this in a video the other day what i was saying was that my name isn't jaunty people often call me jaunty as in it's quite an old-fashioned british word for uh happy and dancey oh a jaunty jig uh, my name isn't jaunty my name is jaunty i mean my 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 was born my name i was given by my mother is jonathan uh so i am actually jonathan sparrow but like the only time i ever get called jonathan is on like official documents like everyone calls me jaunty family friends like myself i just i couldn't i like i just yeah like the only thing i like i know it's an important letter if the letter comes delivered to jonathan sparrow like even a lot of like official stuff comes through as jaunty sparrow like jaunty is basically my name but actually birth certificate says jonathan yeah um the same as john 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 is in mass bandit john he's a jonathan as well but it's just a lot of jonathan's very rarely are jonathan right does that make sense so we've got 40 grand to play with uh, the woods in Cannot Chase, it's great. Um, should we should we change the name of the zoo to Cannot Chase? Should we do that? Geekwin House, Cannot Chase Zoo. How's that? Cannot Chase will make a great zoo, by the way. There's plenty of room. You get some awesome animals there. Uh, my husband is a Jonathan too. Awesome, Jaunty Sparrow. Yeah, that's it. The, the, uh, in fact, it's so much so that the first coaster, Mike Sheets built me a coaster ages ago in Pinewood Hills and called it the Jaunty Sparrow, trying to be funny. <laughs> Uh, his real name is Captain. Yeah, God, can you imagine if my parents had called me Jack? Oh my God, I'd never hear the end of it. Okay, so we'll have uh, a bit of a path come out of there. So let's think about how we're going to do this. I, I kind of like the idea of like circular with a few animals around it. I'm trying to think that because we've got to play, um, we've got to we've got to play pr like productively here, right? <laughs> there was a there was a um a rumor that Jack Sparrow was going to have a brother called John T or John. Um but I think in the end they changed it to a cousin. Um 
Oh no, they changed to an uncle, didn't they? And they got Paul McCartney to play this uncle. Which is weird. I'm trying to build a circle, by the way. It's actually much smaller than I thought it was going to be. Maybe we just get one habitat in here. And the whole thing's off-center, but that's not something that really fusses me either. We can make it... Um, if you start to big your snow, you will go broke fast. Yes! Yes, I uh, I have been told as much. Okay, look at there's lots to do. The geese are scary. No. I'm not a big channel. I hope we hit 200 subs by Christmas. Well, I reckon playing some Planet Zoo is a good way to uh, to start. Um, yeah, that's nowhere near big enough, is it, for doing much of anything right okay let's go back okay let's uh oops no don't want to build there there we go no no have you played that new Star Wars game? No, I haven't. I would like to. I'm a big Star Wars... Well, I say I'm a big Star Wars fan. I'm a average-sized Star Wars fan. Um, but to be honest with you, just work is so busy right now. And when I say work, I mean playing Planet Coaster. That, um, that I just haven't got time for other games, unfortunately. I really had a lot of fun in the Outer Worlds. But again, as soon as Planet Coaster launched, I just haven't got time right now to play anymore. Hmm, this isn't Planet Coaster. No, this is something new. It's basically Planet Coaster. <laughs> um, hi, by the way, Expedition Theme Park. An awesome channel there who is going to start doing Expedition Zoo soon. To ride the wave <laughs> of Planet Coaster. I play Zoo even. Look at me, not even know what it's called. <laughs> okay. That looks a little bit more like something we would uh, go with. Let's, let's smooth this path out a little. Because all this stuff doesn't really cost much, right? We can, we can make stuff look nice still. We've just got to be wary of scope. Okay, I reckon this could be three exhibits. Hmm. How many children do you have? It might be fun to have your child pick the first animal you put in the zoo. I just have one. I have a son. Uh, he's two. He doesn't really... Do you know what? We haven't really done much work on animals yet. He knows, like, some. But he's... i tell you what he's really into at the minute. It's just letters. Like, he's obsessed with letters. He actually sits. That's that that box of cookies that Frontier sent. Frontier sent some uh, zoo cookie or safari cookies. Um, it's actually full of his letters now, and we go through. We go. We've got these like wooden shaped letters, and he goes through, and know, and he knows about about two thirds of the alphabet. Um, no expedition zoo. <laughs> I don't have time for this. It takes two hours to make a place for one zebra, uh, so I'll just watch you. Yeah, it is a. It is a long game. <laughs> um, so then we'll put a staff uh, facility there, then keep her facility, keep a hut. Right. And if I if I plan this perfectly, which I haven't, that should oh we've got loads of room. Okay, good. We could maybe even get a small staff room in there. Um I don't know whether that's got a bigger... Oh, no, I think we're okay there as well, aren't we? I wish the paths were a little clearer to see on this view. It's really tricky to see whether they hit the paths, but they don't, do they? Draxis, glad I could catch a stream. Loving the Planet Zoo content. Thank you so much. I'm glad you could catch a stream as well. You're very welcome here. Thank you. Okay, so what we're going to try and do is... Let's join all them up. Yeah? Okay. 
and we can have a build in there. And I reckon we could get one. I reckon we could do three animals in here. Animal trading not working for me. How about you? Johnsy, just go. don't go back. I'm trying not to. I'm trying to be really... Just put down like the bare minimums. So the other thing we need is an animal trade center, right? So we're just going to put that over here for now. A little way back. All right. Could you do flamingos in that circle? I would like to do flamingos. I think we're going to have to start um, a little rubbisher. <laughs> Um, from the staff building to hide them, but still make them look. We will, we will, we will make that a whole building soon with roof on and everything. But right now, that isn't the priority. The priority is getting some animals in here and start earning some credits. So here we go. We have eight hundred to spend, or we can spend some money. Aardvark, we can do. They're little, they're small, they don't need much. Okay, zoo tours is great. Yes, I've been loving zoo tours. I've been watching a lot of those. Um, console really showed you up, didn't it? Too right it did. Planet Coaster on console. I would never in a million years have thought that. So we're looking at something small then. So Aardvark is a very good possibility to start off with. Tapir is, uh, is a very good possibility. Let's have a look. There's a couple of tapirs here. There's, there's some cheap... I mean, that's not awful, jeans. 230. Demo. Demo? Zoomania. That's not bad for 300. That's pretty decent. Bongoers. Yeah, again, good start. Uh, and actually, maybe later, I think. I think we need something simple, man. We need something that can get thrown in and look good. All right. Rosanna, supposed to be working. Saw you were streaming. I'm here now. Thank you, Rosanna. Don't get into trouble, though. I would hate I would hate to be the, the person who got people in trouble. Warthog's probably not a bad one. Ostrich goes, they reproduce a lot. And release for a lot of CC. Again, I, we need something that will go small. Lemurs, I don't think we'll have the... Oh, man. The common warthogs. I mean, they're crap. They're crap genes. Oh, immunity gene. Fertility gene. Well, they've all got, like, one really bad gene. Ugh. That's not bad. Male warthog. I'll take it. Ah, oh, it's got to be quicker than this. My goodness. This is going to be hell. I know this is going to be hell. Yeah, there go all the good ones. Right, where's that one with the immunity gene that was low? I bet that's gone as well. Oh, there we go. I'll take that one. Yeah! Now, what was it? <laughs> it was a male. Okay, so we need a, we need a female as well. Okay, a female with not... That's not bad. I mean, it's getting old. 6.3. These aren't so bad, you know. There we go. Boy and a girl warthog. We're off. Nice to combine with other species in a big savannah. Well, we could always move them. Uh, hey, Jonty, how does the franchise mode animal market work? They're from other people. So when we have babies in this zoo, we can put them on the market and people can buy them. It's like an auction house. Um, will you be purchasing the consoles to play the new version of Planko next year? Yes, pause. Yes. Hey, pause, by the way. Another great content creator. He's doing some really good uh, Planet Zoo stuff. Uh, yes, I will. I'm going to be picking up a PlayStation, I think. I'm going to see if there's any deals on Black Friday. Um, if not, yeah, probably New Year. We will look at getting them. Right then. Barriers. Habitat gate. Let's see if we can... See if we can do something fun here. Let's see if we can make this look good. Can we do null? I think what's probably better is if we do null, isn't it? Uh, and no, we probably can't afford null. If we go for wood to start off with then, right? Um, will there be a video out today? No, not on a Monday. I, I take a break from videos on Mondays to get to do live streaming. Um, yeah, this is this is how I keep up with content is by having a day live streaming. Okay, so let's plus these out. Uh, oh, we can't do curves, can we? There we go. Lil Citrus, anytime I lose my creativity with Planet Coaster or Planet Zero, I watch your videos and it inspires me. Thanks for nearly three years of inspiring me. That's awesome. Thank you so much for being here. Pair of tigers to get your money going. No, I don't want to. I don't want to shoot for the moon. I want to start small and build up. Okay, that's that's what I want to do. I'm hoping. Do you reckon that's gonna be enough space for a couple of water hugs? I feel like it is. Uh, 
Okay. Let's no barrier through there. Okay. And then... Oh, come on. There's nothing wrong with that. There we go. And then we're going to aim to get over to there. Oof. Right. Anyone else have problems with the animal market lagging like hell? Just the animal market lagging, not the exhibit market. Only in franchise mode. It takes four minutes to do stuff. Well, that sounds like an internet issue. Do you think the Planet Cons Coaster coming to console is the beginning of the Planet Franchise coming to console? I really don't know. Really can't call it, to be honest. Okay, so now we do need to do a little bit of construction work here then. I hope we've just got... Have we not just got regular brick? Is that all it gives us? <sighs> Breeze block. Oh, it's gross. <laughs> um, well, I mean, it'll have to do, won't it? I'll put that there. And I'm literally just... Doing this to keep the building in. Music so I'm hoping I can edit this barrier. Oh no, come on. I just wanted to go in there, but it's not going to let me, is it? Okay, there's probably something we can do. Let's have a look. You'll have to build, uh, get your mechanics doing some research. Yes, definitely. Once we can afford it. Okay, let's just do, I mean, this is, wow. How good does this look? We're just going to put that there. All right. And then that way, that bit of thing is covered up. But basically, that's how it's going to go. We can now put the door on it. Oh, no. Why can't we put a door there? Yeah, there we go. Get some research going on ASAP for new themes. You can probably support two mechanics with a habitat and a couple of exhibits. We, I, I don't, I'm going to... I, I do want to do that. I am going to prioritize animals first, though. So, so. Hi, that's that's Twitch doing that. I, I need to turn that off. <laughs> it's great, but we don't stream on Twitch. <laughs> it's a bit loud. Uh, okay, so let's get a keeper. And a... I suppose a vet, right? Now... Don't, can't find a staff room with space. There's a staff room right there. There's a staff room with all with all grass in the bottom of it. Look. I mean, okay. Hey, there is much, not really much. No. When is the Dragon's DLC coming out? Who knows? Uh, watching Planet Zoo, why playing Planet Zoo? Why not? That's what I do. Is it showing selective? Yeah, it's still there. I just I don't go on it. Play and re pause. I mean, well, we'll see. You need power. Power. Thank you. Right. Of course we do. Power. Fancy having to think about some things such as power. Look at chat going crazy. Power, power, power. Uh, okay, transformer. Now. Yeah, negativity is still okay for that sort of stuff. Okay, so let's get a mechanic as well because we need to keep on top of that and the uh, the harriers. Okay, so right, there we go. You're sorted now. Now, does this need power? No, good. Um, get yourself some electricians in there because you have no power. Yeah, there we go. We've got a mechanic now. 
Wonder how many more are going to suggest power. I think people need to say power, 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 power. <laughs> Sorry. Chat's like 20 seconds behind me, so, you know. When you see a few people suggest it, I'll get it. <laughs> um, right, so we can put that animal in there then, right? You can't multi-click in franchise mode, weirdly. Okay, so move to here. Move to here. And a main entrance provides power, that's right, but we're obviously a bit far away there for it. So the clever thing would have been to build this a little closer so that the power main entrance power is included. But we want some space to eventually do some stores and stuff once we're a bit more established. Hello. 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 Hi. How are you? Would you like a hand? There you go. Good stuff. Could you name the female warthog Bella? Uh, oh, I tell you what I was going to do in this one. Actually, as good a name as Bella is, is we're gonna we're gonna then we're gonna name them after patrons because that's like something everyone's doing. And I was like, oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> I always I always forget to do stuff for patrons. I love you all to bits, and you know you help me pay bills, and I always forget to get people's names. <laughs> um, so let's get a Patreon list up. Okay, so. You can click the random button. Okay. Our, uh... Who is that? We're not clicking yet. Have you got to completely zone in? There we go. You're our female. I'm going to pull out two names oh that's not very good is it let me open it over here so i can see more there we go okay okay so you are cassie oh it's the same first letter that's weird isn't it cassie carr there we go thank you for the support and let's speed up and get the other one in there and then we'll start working on the habitat for them because they ain't going to be happy right now they're not going to be like terribly unhappy. Come on in. What is going on here? That is a that is definitely a path issue there, isn't it? Pass. Let's try that. Let's try that. Let me get the other name up and then I'll read that. And the boy is going to be. Oh. Uh. Brian Kerr. Now everyone's stopping. Oh, because that I just changed the path, didn't I? Uh, Lil Sackett, thanks for the super chat. Hey, you. I wish that said hello, you. Wouldn't it be so good if it said hello, you? Brian. What did I say it was? Oh, I've closed it now. Never mind. Oh, Kerr. Brian Kerr. There we go. So Brian Kerr and Cassie Carr. Totally random. That's like near enough the same name. That's ace. <laughs> right then. Can you move your face over to the left bottom? Oh, do you know what? It was there before because it was out of the way. Where is that? Is left bottom the best place for it, do we think? Okay, hold on then. Right. Let, let's... Uh, let me see if I can do this cleverly. Okay, here we go. Ready? Whoa! There we go. And. Uh, up! Ah! Look at that. How's that? There we go. Good stuff. Let me feed up a little bit again so I can see. Uh, name animals after people that donate. Well, the problem is with that is we may not get any donations or we may have more donations than there are animals. So I think this way I can just grab people. Why not right bottom? Because it's in the way of all this sort of stuff, which is what people want to see, right? This sort of stuff here, sorry. Right, so welfare's not horrific, actually. Terrain paints, they just need some soil. Um, and they have no no reason for water. So that's good, because that saves on having water treatments just now. Um, so, habitat-wise, then. Uh, sorry, terrain. 
I'm just going to give him like a little bit of a of a mound. Because it's very dull otherwise. Maybe even go down a bit there. Maybe not that much. Okay. Painting. So, soil. Now, they should be like really quite... It's it's soily, right? That's what that's that's the main thing. Like they like they'll probably have like a dirt patch eventually, won't they? Um, one piece of wood barrier on that glass curve. Where are you looking? Oh yeah. Oh well, we're going to change all that in a minute anyway. Don't worry about that. It's not going to be all glass here. It doesn't look very realistic at all. At all, I say. Right. Let's get some. Oh, that's quite aggressive, isn't it? Sand. Wow. There we go. So that's going to... We'll pretend that that's their mud patch, even though it's not. I'm going to get rid of some of the some of the uh, short grass. There we go. So they can have a bit of rock as well. Let's do... do some rock down there. Look all right once we've got some foliage and stuff. I've got a feeling they're not high on foliage. Yeah, I didn't think so. Um... Uh, putting the keeper in the middle like that. Well, ho like I say, hopefully it can do another ha habitat here and another habitat here eventually. And there's just like a little pod. That's how a lot of zo real zoos do it. They use these like bins and stuff. Donation bins. Yes. Good, good, good. Right. Going to get that money in, haven't we? Two should be enough, right? Hi, I'm new here. But hi. Hey, Lily. Uh, do you look at YouTube live chat? No, never. Um, I thought you were from the UK. How come it's light outside? I am from the UK, but I live in Canada. Uh, right. So, plant coverage, African, grassland, and tropical. So, nature, plants, biome, tropical, grassland, continent, Africa. Okay, lots to choose from. Let's get a Big ass tree right somewhere in the middle of it. Have we got the umbrella? Oh, see, that's um, the problem with. Oh, that's nice. I was gonna say the problem with them. Them, they're, they're so specific to the savannah, you know. Yes, education research. Yes, yes, yes. I know we've got stuff to do. Let's just uh, let's just get the the actual animals sorted because then we can start playing the game whilst. They're sorting themselves out. That's nice. What's that? River bush willow tree. Okay, there we go then. Let's have that. We'll have it just a little off because eventually this building will look quite nice and you're going to want to see it. So we'll have that there. I've got a feeling this is going to throw the, the the coverage through the roof. Boom. Ten. Okay, that's not horrific, I guess. Um, let's see if there's a smaller one of those then we can sort of replicate over here. They're nice because not only do they look a little bit like um, African-y, they're also they also look like they could grow in the UK, which is important, I think. Um, this one planet zoo patcher, hey, I don't know what that means. Um, how do you find the creativity? Uh, I get that people ask me this a lot. I I, I mean, I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to say that I'm some expert in this kind of thing, but I find one of the best best things for me is to find real world examples. So I go and look at zoos. A lot. I spent a lot of time looking at real zoos. I spent a lot of time looking at theme parks when I was playing Planet Coaster. I spent a lot of time um, uh, looking at architecture, that kind of thing. Find some reference points. Find something small you can reference, and then just go for it. Okay, I feel like that should be there. I know that's rock, so we're gonna have to change the terrain up a little there to make it more uh, soily. And I'll soil that there. There's going to be some growth over there. And this is kind of already right anyway, but there we go. Uh, were the trees that big in Planko too? Some of them were. Some of them were even bigger. Some of the trees in Planko were crazy big. Crazy big. Okay. So nature. Let's do some more. So we've got the elephant grass. We've got some flowers. We've got some banana palms. We've got these ridiculous things, baobabs. So these ferns are quite nice. Get 
I get some of these in. I quite like these. Um, maybe something like this to sort of replicate a, a lower grass. Now we've got to keep an eye on the on the levels because I reckon they're probably already starting to cap out. Why can't I click? Why can't I click you? Right, Brian, help me out here, son. Twenty-eight percent. My gosh, I really love this grass as well, though. I'm gonna have to try and get some of this in. Uh, you're starting a new zoo. This is going to be our franchise zoo. This is going to take. This series is going to take over from um, campaign mode because I ain't feeling campaign mode. So we're going to start playing franchise instead. Just um, just for a bit of a change. These custard apples they sink quite nice. Right, let's get some rock work in then. Uh, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Let's have some grassland, the savannah rock. Um, it's a bug in the game. What we just can't. My, just realised my channel has gained more subs this month than in any other month since July. Planet Zoo made these quite nice. Yeah, it's great. I am. Um, I, I mine's the same to be honest. Although I did at the moment, the the base is still winning for me. Obviously, we we haven't finished the month. Um, but yeah, the moment beta did a slightly better for me than launch is doing. Uh, but like I say, we've got we've got a good while before um, before the sort of launch wave is finished. Do you copy and paste items and keep them alive? How do you copy? Control X. Uh, yeah, Control X is what you want. So if you press Control, if you select something, press Control D, you just get it on the mouse. If you press Control X, you get that to do with what you will. Do with it what you will, my child. Uh, I knew you'd drop career mode pretty quickly. Do you know what? I just, I finished the career mode of Planet Coaster, I think. Um, and and if it and like if it was doing better view wise, I would still play it. But it, it isn't like it's not it's not doing so hot. Um, and I think for a similar amount of effort that is franchise, we can we can do some fun stuff uh, here instead. Um, but yeah, well, I've seen the name. That's a bit of a spoiler, but I've seen the name of the last zoo. Yeah, which suggests that's true. Zoo Harvey. Is this going to be on PS4? Who knows? I, I would have said no until they announced Planet Coaster for PS4. And now I just, I don't know what the world is anymore. <laughs> uh, shame I like the career. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, we may end up going back to it eventually once the once the fuss has died down. But right now, I think um, my time is better spent on exhibits and stuff. Um, and, you know, if you're looking for that sort of real-time not quite as intense detail that's going to be franchise mode for you you know that's going to be what we're doing right now so we're going to live stream this but then also there's going to be videos as well um this campaign mission is a massive pain in the butt to be fair oh well see i thought this one i was on is a pain in the butt uh Baobab, no baobabs in this no we're in the middle of the uh English uh, forests. There's, there's, there, you would not be able to grow a baobab here. Um, okay. Theme parks are also great inspiration for exhibits. What, giant waterfall for the animals, similarly modelled after the volcano water in Volcano Bay. Yeah, definitely. If you want to go for that sort of grandiose style, you can definitely look at theme parks. Um, okay, that's not awful, right? Now we need to do some. Um, they need. They need. They need somewhere to live, right? environment uh hard shelter now i, re I did really don't want to build with the pieces the few pieces we've got so i am gonna go in and do some research so we're gonna build it over here it's facilities let's not facilities workshop right And I want the New World theme. I think we're going to go New World with this. And it also, I find it's the most useful one as well. Hi, Larry. <laughs> Hi, Larry. Um, I do create mode, but everyone is doing it. And once there's not a lot of difference between the zoos, are quite limited. Yeah, yeah, that's a fair point. Wondering if console edition PC will include all the DLC packs. Um, some of the clips on the video they've shown for it do. It is showing DLC. So... Who knows? Right, I'm just going to slow time down a minute. 
Um, I'm hoping that we've now got a mechanic going to do some research. So in the meantime, I don't want to do hard shelter just yet, unless it's really causing you a bother. No, it's more the lack of enrichment, right? So food and water then, let's get that sorted. I don't, we, I don't think we've got any enrichment to start off with, have we? No, literally like food and water, that's it. So we don't need a large trough, do we? Let's have a medium medium trough. We'll sort the terrain out in a minute. Um, and we'll have a water pipe. Can we do a water pipe over here? But we can't, can we? It's going to be too close to the ground. I much prefer the water pipes because it's just one less thing we have to have our, our staff worry about. Tell you what, let's place it here which will be the edge of the the edge of the barrier and we can work it in so it looks a bit silly at the moment but later on it'll be fine trust me so for 20 percent of your budget has gone on just warthogs and initial setup so be careful yeah that's only 10 grand though I, I would say that's pretty good and we've got we're gonna have money coming in there as well we want to kind of up that Okay, so next thing's next. Keepers coming in. So they've got food and water. So we need to get we need to get the vet working on some enrichment for them as well, don't we? Because otherwise their welfare is just too low. The IP, who's here? Hello. Oh we got oh we got some CC for that. Nice. That's cool to know. Ladies and lions. Welcome, ladies and lions. You VIP you. That was the VIP you, not PU. Jonty, what is your park? I don't understand the question. Um. Do, 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 do. Don't forget your research engine. Yes, that's the one. Uh, it's harder to make it in Plan Zoo, I think, money. Research. Research. Trade. Research. Okay. View Research Center. Let's get Renona Rowo Rowena Griffin. Get some stuff sorted for the Botox, please. Is it wetland? Oh no, this is this is uh temperate. Good research for these mechanics and doctors. There we go. Put some um put some time put some kind of pond or lake in their habitat. No, I don't I know, I think we'll keep it dry. A lot of these small animals don't have natural water in their habitats in real zoos um signage new your donation really helps increase donations coming in yes yes that's a good idea we need some of those screens where are they we'll put these in for now these will get um let's see where people are really hanging out over here i guess they move to where the animal is though right so we'll put these in for now Because the animals will probably hang out over here as well at some point. There we go. Come on, warthog. Come on, warthog. And then we'll stick some speakers in these areas as well. Come on, warthog. Come on, warthog. There we go. And then I don't like seeing these. I just like the idea of the... Um, of it coming out of the TV. Been watching you for a while now. Keep up the good work and good spirits. Love your voice in videos. Thank you, Martin. Welcome. Um, what workarounds have you found to be aesthetically pleasing when it comes to animals needing hard shelter, uh, but the shelters are hideous? You make your own. That's why we're doing some research because you, you just have to make your own. Amazingly, it's um, that that it is how it is. I think we could do flamingos here in the future, couldn't we? <gasps> Big flamingos as you walk in. Which you could have several different screens for the same animal. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Each animal should have like half a dozen of these pictures in them at least, I think. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, they're having a little run. Okay. Sounds like we've got donations coming in. Yeah. Bring it in. Nice. We are we are earning money. 
Okay. So how are we doing for research? Anything? Oh, look at this. Zoo challenges. Adopt a habitat species. Ado oh, okay. I didn't even know this was a thing. Earn a yearly info kiosk profit. I don't think we're away off that. Increase common warthog education rating to 10%. So how do, how do we know what it is now? Zoo ticket price is great. Good. Plank out the aging system, but it really didn't affect ride income all that much. Yeah, the, the, the classic rides and that sort of stuff. Uh, I think conservation raising is releasing animals to the wild, right? I've never got more than $20 max for a donation. I'm guessing that's probably the top. We've waved at ladies and lions, right? Yeah. I hope you're having a lovely time, ladies and lions. We need a vet surgery, we need a quarantine. Not just yet, we don't. Okay, where are you? How's your, how's your stress levels? Fine. That's quite impressive, actually, considering all this is window. So I'm going to edit this barrier. I'm going to turn it into wood. But we, we're going to fix it. Don't worry, folks. Don't worry. We're going to make that glass. Um, and that. And Actually, yeah, we'll make those two end ones glass. I'm going to pause the game very briefly. We're going to move that to there. There we go. So we'll make those two end ones glass, and then we'll make all of these just lower down. Because I only think uh, I only think these have to be a meter high. Why? That's not how this should work. There we go. There we go. I'm pretty sure they don't have. Um, they don't have that much of a climbing height. Let's have a look. Natural habitat. Grade 2. 3.3 feet. That's a meter. Yeah. Okay, so good. Uh, and no idea you can uh, make the center part only glass. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? Uh, do you think you'll, con you'll convert to saying H instead of H? No, no. I can't imagine I'll change H. I've been picking up the like Canadian word or North American words as and when I can. But no, H is like... That's just... That's more of an accent thing as opposed to actually a different word, I think. Um, above steps and put the steps into safe space. Yeah, you can. You can put um, you can put staff buildings on top of them, actually. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can do that. Make some nice taller buildings. That's a good idea. Okay. Right, we'll run the game. I'm really scared of running the game. <laughs> Just... But we've got to do it, haven't we? We've got to earn some money. Uh, and you can get albinos. Yes, you can. Thanks to everyone for helping out each other in the chat. People are asking stuff that I'm missing. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah. How do you cover those path triangles? You can't in this game like you used to. So in, so in Planet Coaster, you could sink a wall into there, sink a roof into there. It doesn't work for some reason. They've changed the path very slightly. So we'll just have a little tree or something there later on. Oh, that floating water pump. What? Oh, I know. Yeah, no, yeah. Oh, God, look at that. How awful. We will fix that. As soon as we've got something unlocked, which I hope we're working towards, let's have a look. Re mechanic research, we're about a quarter of a way there. Vet research, we're... A oh, Jesus. Okay, do we bring in another vet and another mechanic? That feels like a, a waste of money. Actually, let's just stream. Welcome, Jackie. Um... You should get an albino warthog off the market. They come cheap. Do 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 guests care anymore? Like like is it do guests think they're better? Let's let's only open between eight and eight. I don't think it actually changes anything other than uh, we want it to always be daytime. Flamingos are an iconic part of the zoo. They've always been my favourite. Yes, I think flamingos here is a good idea. Uh, after eight years of plan zoo and breeding for most of it, I still haven't had an albino. Yeah, I personally feel like they turn up a bit too often. Like, they're always on Reddit. It's all you ever see. Jonty, how are you not zooed out? Um, I don't know, really. I, I only ever really play one game at a time and just play it hardcore. <laughs> Can P-Files be with warthogs? Um, I'm not sure about P-Files. You need guest facilities. No, you don't. Not until you've got about three, 400 people in the place. Uh, maybe toilets you could probably do with early on. I wish this had a toilet. Yeah, maybe toilets, but I think the um, the food and drink stuff isn't isn't needed until a bit later on. But I'll throw some toilets down. I'm 
toilet. Uh, let's go over here. And again, we, we will eventually do lots of lovely stuff with all this, but for now, it goes down. Maybe a walkthrough habitat with flamingos. Yeah, see, I never thought... Um, 07 Commander. I never thought that flamingos um, could be walked through, but yeah, I've seen a few videos online now. People like stroking flamingos, which is pretty crazy. Um, although I always have two mechanics. Okay, I'll risk two mechanics. I'm down for that. Yeah, because these walls are getting a bit battered at the back there, aren't they? Oh, what are you pair doing? Oh, look at you. We know what that means. We know what that means. Oh. No. Were you being safe? Because you're getting old, mate. We need, to, we need to think about more. Did you not get pregnant off that? Jesus. Very welcoming toilet at the entrance. Yes, well, eventually it'll be sort of covered up with some nice buildings and stuff. <laughs> I recommend uh, you need to make a through path. I use 10 meters path and still have traffic issues with guests. Yeah. Yeah, once you get once you get up and running, the guests kind of flood in. So what we'll do is we've got this circle, but actually we'll probably branch off either way here to get people out of the this sort of big area. Maybe even we'll bring something up around the back as well. Um, there are children in the chat. They all they did was rub cheeks together. That's how I did it anyway. That's 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 how Xander turned up. Me and Nick rubbed our cheeks together. Eight maniacs all studying at the same time because I don't want to wait to get cool stuff to build. Yeah, I did. Oh, hello, jumpy jump. Um, oh, poop, poop, poop. Vet's coming in. Vet, you're meant to be researching. Oh, okay, you've done some more. Maybe this is you researching, is it? Oh, that was a nice little slide, wasn't it? Mechanic research is slow. Food time. Look at that, they come running over for the food. I love that. And once you get the money, you can make a large savanna area. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We, I, I want to look at doing like an African style zoo actually at some point. I found some really amazing modern African builds. What's going on here? Oh wow, we need to adjust the opening time there, don't we? Let's say 8, 10 and 9.50. We don't want that weird slathe of, uh, of black. Uh, getting some grub on, that's good. Getting some water on, that's nice. As far as I know, research. Yeah, it looks like it. They 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 do visit res they do visit animals as part of research. Okay, that's good. That's good to know. We're earning a wee bit of money. Like we earned a grand. Total profit, three grand. Okay, so if we do nothing, we, uh, we're earning money. We could charge for toilets. Flamingo is our... Oh, missed that one. <laughs> um, do, do, do. Uh, they visit... Uh, yes, read that one. Yeah, good. Absolutely love your videos. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Uh, wonderful spirit. Oh, thanks. Bump up the ticket prices a bit. What are people saying? Let's have a look. The zoo ticket price is great. Not anymore. Five and four? What did you think of that? It's fair. I'll take fair. Have you been to Colchester Zoo? No, I haven't. I dated a girl from Colchester many years ago. Never took her to the zoo. Uh, love your work and inspiration. I feel like your voice and appearance is not matching uh, like you are voiceovered. How old are you? I'm 33. Do I sound older? People tell me I sound older. Uh, zoo overview guest tabs. I've been finding it very hard to keep my guest ratings up due to thirst. Zoo overview guests. So hunger's a little low. I'm sure people said before that you don't need it until like 300 people are in the place. I've been in college this week. It's a pretty good one. Oh, good. You want to have ticket prices so that children are adults divided by two. Oh, okay. So, well, let's round up then and say that childs are three. There we go. Um, What was I going to do? What was I doing then? Well, I think we need to think about another animal, you know. Oh, that was it. There, these challenges. How do I know 6%? How do I know that, though? Where can I see that anywhere? 
What do we what do we say to starting a new uh a new habitat here? What what say ye? What say you? We can get rid of these now. That one's already up the right way anyway. But we can bring this to here. Now this is a very much a whip this uh this building please please know please know that see if you can get flamingo no we, we will look at flamingos another time uh we're, we're, we're concentrating on some some uh piggy type things here <laughs> um it's not worth it until you have a lot more people you lose money from food yeah there you go i think you can click the exhibit barrier for the overview can you Uh, you can get a good view. Oh my god! Seeing a cup. Whoa! They used to say it's okay, I guess. <laughs> okay, terrain, environment, animals, log, maintenance. Okay, can't can't see it anywhere. My animals habitats are able to be walked through. Um it says in the Zoopedia if you want to have a look. Um it's one of the bits of info here. Can guests enter habitat? Yes, there you go. So that, that one can, that little tortoise. Really disappointed there are no crows. I know. No crows or are there pigeons? There are there are birds of some description, aren't they? Hi Malova, by the way. How's it going, pal? Long time no speak. Um, I think an aardvark wolves we're not ready for wolves yet sorry we're just started we need some little farty things that are going to sit here and go <laughs> and can share barriers and share staff and all lovely stuff like that so barrier the habitat gate we're going to take you I think we need to do bat null, null barrier don't we to, to make it work so a null barrier to there It's this this is the problem you can't put that too close to that annoyingly okay so I'll tell you what then let's let's cancel this let's move them both out then so and just deal with the bit the building being slightly bigger because then we can do what we want to do right okay so habitat barriers habitat gaze oh what's going on here no you can go away That's okay, there we go. Uh, pangolins are little fire things. They are, they're awesome actually. Pangolins are awesome little farty things. So let's go there. Obstructed! Is that because of the. Is that because of you? Come on, we just need you to go. Oh, it's going to have to be a null barrier in it, right? Let's do. No. There we go, because I don't think the door itself is having a problem. There we go. Right. Uh, love this game, but the pathing system is killing me. If I try to put a bunch of staff buildings close together, uh, they all seem to hook up past. Yes, it, it, yes. <laughs> In a word, <laughs> yes. It's not great, I'm afraid. Sorry. <laughs> uh, welcome to the Planet Go Planet series. <laughs> um, do you have to hit play for? Oh God, yeah, we do. Good point. I'm so used to playing in pause, just in case. There we go. Yep. Glass, and we'll do something similar to what we did before. Yep. Uh, ooh, that's not very nice, is it? Okay. Uh, do 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 do. 
builds a habitat so it's kind of ugly is suddenly hello everyone and welcome to pimp your habitat <laughs> uh i'll go do one of them tonight hopefully uh, do you ever play planet zoo without recording it nope i haven't played a second of the game without recording it or putting it on live stream i guess Okay, habitat number two is this one here. Oh, yeah, we can get three in here. We've got three animals cooking like gas. Uh, sometimes I genuinely think... Oh, yeah, I read that one. Thanks. <laughs> uh, plus or minus is, yeah, for lengthening the habitat, walls, uh, paths, does all sorts. Very useful. Um, it's at a year right now. Do they Should they check them more often? Uh that's in that's done in here right routine visits every six months and i think don't we have to do these a bit more often as well let's make that every three months every six months there we go um Will the next sandbox episode be coming out anytime soon? Got the actual series called something like Akuna Matata. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Nuna Kanata. I've been working in it today. Um, I'm hopefully going to finish it today, and then I'm going to be recording with Mike. He's coming on to chat because he did some awesome uh, foliage and rock work for me, uh, which you can see on his channel. Um, so hopefully, so recording that tomorrow. So Wednesday should be Wednesday. But there's a really great exhibit video going up tomorrow. A habitat video. Sorry, going up tomorrow. Uh, you're still planning on doing zoo school? Yes, first episode is uh, nearly done. I'm still working on the habitat. I, I, my biggest problem with zoo school um, is I'm trying to find a way to present it that's different to just doing another speed build, you know, because it's such a separate thing. I'm trying to find a way of sort of putting it all together and displaying it all and it all making sense and it working together. Uh, yeah, that's that's the that's the, the only thing with zoo school. But we're getting there. Yeah, we're getting there. Right, another animal then. Let's see what we can get. I want to go Aardvark, I think. I think Aardvark is a good uh, is a good one. What? Aardvarks were like a fight. Oh, is that because they're just girls? They were so cheap before. I mean, the, these will have gone, won't they? Oh, no, there we go. We've got a girl aardvark. Okay. So let's get a name. Uh, so the uh, the the patron who is being called, is being an aardvark is uh, Jefferson. Oh, that's a good name. Jefferson Hare, I think it's pronounced. So you're going to be a girly aardvark. <laughs> That's okay, because Jefferson doesn't sound like a female name. Uh, so we're going to move you into here. The good thing... Oh, I didn't even look at the genes, by the way. Oh, well. Um, how long do you usually do them? A couple of hours. Um, just started watching, by the way. I really enjoyed playing Z videos. Thank you, Madison. Uh, yeah, usually usually between one and three, but I might push it till four today. We'll see how we're getting on. Um, yeah. Wish they would enable searching by typing in the market. Yeah, it seems a bit weird that you have to sort of always scroll through the list, to be honest. Oh, my God, I thought that was a protester then. It's not. It's a vet coming in. Come on. Some of this research has got to be getting nearly done now. Oh, nearly not. Animania. Uh, I'm only doing this to say well done with all the recent work on the channel and community in general. Smurf buttocks and alien hot tubs. Thank you, Willowa. Good times. Good times with our smurf buttocks and alien hot tubs. We haven't had a good meme on the channel for a while now. We need to work on that, I think. So nutrition's fine, obviously. Social, a bit stressed. That's just because you've been moved, I guess. Okay, habitat then. Cleanliness, temperature, terrain's near enough done. You need some hard shelter as well. I'm working on that, okay. Um, and obviously enrichment for you as well. So as soon as the as soon as we've got some for the Ardv for the warthogs, you can get some, okay? But basically, you just need a bit more soil. So 
I'll be honest with you, these are going to all look pretty similar, <laughs> okay? These are going to be quite samey, because the the idea here is that these, these would have been built as one thing, okay? So this would have been all built together. Um, going to get ready for work. Good luck with Bill. Thank you. Enjoy. Um, right, so first of all, let's, uh, let's edit this barrier. So that's going to become wood. In fact, all of this is going to become wood. But I think we'll do what we did last time. I actually think that looked pretty good. So we'll make those two with windows, with mirrors, sorry. Uh, yeah, with windows. I was right first time. And then these ones here can come down. I'm pretty sure aardvarks don't need that higher height. And then we'll take you to there. And again, all this is still very much a work in progress. We will come back and revisit this once we've got some cash. Let's just check, actually. Uh, grade two, no mention of climbing at all. Okay, so African grassland and tropical again. Who's the Aardvark's favorite female vocalist? Barbara Streisand. Nice. Um, talking of which, Jefferson Hare. There you go. Uh, unique barrow type of hard shells are like you typically see with meerkat habitats. Yeah, I think we will eventually. I think for now we'll probably put a structure in because um, they need lots of hiding. Yes, they do. So we'll work. We'll work on that now. So let's come over here and start with some rocks. And what we'll do is we'll be a little bit more prominent with the rocks this time, and we'll place them up because all of these this all creates like barrier space, and that's what we want. We want lots of um, lots of spots for the little fella to, or the little lady to get behind and chill out, and not worry too much about the world. Hey, they said that X was fixed in the latest update. By the way, it didn't. It didn't at all. Uh, will you buy a vivarium? The overpopulation in these things is crazy. I don't. I don't understand that. Sorry. You need to click the red spot, otherwise it won't be finished. Otherwise, what won't be finished? Um, okay. Some nice rocks. That one looks phallic. <laughs> they should release a DLC that allow us to make aquariums. I, I definitely, I would put money on us getting an aquarium DLC at some point. I really would. There we go. So a bit higher rocks here, then a little bit more to hide behind. That's good. Um, so nature, plants. So we want grassland, um, Africa, but also you can have, was it tropical or temperate? Tropical. Yeah, that's right, isn't it? Now, you have a slightly... Oh, no, you have really low coverage. So what's, what if you've already got... Hold on. Those three are already covering you. Right, that one doesn't have to. Let's move that out, because that's no good. I don't, I don't mind these ones covering you, but it ain't great, is it? Um, but I like, I like this, this tamarind tree, so we're going to bring one of them in over here. Now, if you want to go and see like a really sort of um, uh, like realistic aardvark habitat, check out my latest Pimp My Habitat video because I spent a lot of time uh, having a little research about them and finding out the stuff. Down under DLC, yes, that's definitely coming. Kangaroos, uh, koalas. Apologies, we might be going a bit dark. I've got to shut that it's getting red up. Oh, um, building three habitats in the form of the Mercedes-Benz logo. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, hmm. Would you put your NDA on the putting 
Uh, would you put your NDA on them putting in an Aquarian DLC? <laughs> I know absolutely nothing now currently. Uh, uh, there's, I've got no special secrets at all. You don't usually. Once the games come out, they're like, right, okay. Go and, they're, they're go and play it now then. <laughs> yeah. Then uh, no idea of what's coming. Uh, is this DLC going to be something you've got to pay for? So the way it worked with Planet Coaster um, was we had ne nearly a year of free stuff before they started charging. So um, I think this looks so good as like a grass, this. I know it uses up a lot of space for what it is, but I just think it looks really good as a grass. Um, as, as does the coastal mangrove. Uh, yeah, we had a free a year full of free stuff um, before we had to buy anything, before we paid for anything. So I, I, would, I don't know whether we'll get the exact same as that, but that is maybe, you know, that's precedent for, uh, for how it's going to go, you know. How's that? How are you feeling there about your coverage? Oh, just too much. Okay, so let's see if we can let's see if we can get these out of your way, because that's no good, really. That they're hanging over. The problem is, I don't know how far out we're gonna have to go with them. Okay, that that has actually worked. So let's see if we can do it with this one as well. Okay. Oh, wow. that, so just what we've got there is just too much. Okay, well, one of them going to have to go then. I felt like we could put, we had a lot more... I felt like we had a lot more in, in our Pimper Habitat one. Oof, it's just not much, is it? As much free content, it's been much more successful. They would want to make the most of it. Yeah, yeah, I think I think you're probably right. How much food do you need per habitat? Click the habitat and enter the animal tab, and then scroll down to the habitat contents. There you will see feeder enrichments. Yes, so you can figure out how many of the things. Oh, we have to unpause the game. Ugh. Just constantly play paused, but I want to make sure the welfare is not horrific before we, before we do that. So, what's wrong with the terrain? Yes, you need soil. So let's do some really small soil and let's do some runs. Because these, these are runny animals, and they run, 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 run. They scoot around all the different space. There we go. And then here, we can open it up a little bit more. Oh, hello. Look at you having a little climby climb. Well, are you good? Um, so how's that? for? Your still welfare's a little low. What's wrong with... Oh, your hard shelter as well, yeah? Okay. Right. Uh, facilities. Donations. Come and get them. There we go. And we'll just use them screens again for now. That one. Um, ugh, wish that didn't turn on as default. Uh, we should be finished. You have to click the red thing next to staff pictures. Ah, here. Yes. Okay. So, oh, two two thingies. We we did it. We did it. Okay. But we still haven't got one, right? Hi, Intox. Can I wave at you? Hey! Oh, I'm all about that. Who needs to sell animals? You can just wave at everyone. <laughs> if they do a polar-type Christmas pack, polar bears, reindeer, and arctic fox, or penguins, that'd be awesome. Animal research. I just got an achievement for it, which means... Research is complete. Common horse hog. Continue. So now go over to Aardvark, then. What did that unlock us? A feeder, some better food, and a and a thing on here. So that's give us that number one. 
No? Okay. So now we can come into here. We can give them level 2 food, right? So we'll do that. Get their food quality up a bit. And then we can put some welfare in for them. Common War Saga. Small barrel feeder. Hey, what fun. There you go. Get your welfare up a bit. I wonder, I wonder if that's applicable for aardvarks as well. That might be a double whammy one there. Uh, two animals I really want to see are penguins and meerkats. Yes, I would like them both. You're a YouTuber and I don't see a waterfall. This is revolutionary. It's only because we can't afford a waterfall. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll definitely uh, definitely get one in the future. Don't worry about that. I'm sure. Uh, are you mates with Silverette and Best in Slot and all the other ones? I chat to Best in Slot quite a lot. Um, I haven't spoken to Silverette lately, actually, but uh, I love his videos. Obviously, watch his stuff; it's amazing. Um, Hardvark, come on, Barrel Feeder. Oh, Boo Hiss! I really thought we was we were on to a winner winner there, but no. Okay, small food bowl. Water pipe, and again, and again, we're gonna do the same with the with the water pipe. It's gonna sit there, but that will actually be where the uh, habitat is later on. Come on, how how are we doing with this research? Come on, we need this research now. Mechanic research. It's, this is really not good enough. We can't put two people on it either, can we? No. Just swap it around then, just in case. Uh, hi, Dragon Dash. Can you put your head cam up a little bit? Oh, well, every time I move it, people go, it's wrong now. Do you, do you want it moved so that we can see that menu? I suppose that makes that makes good sense, doesn't it? Here I go, here I go. La, 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 la. How's that? Um... Right, I was using level 3 food in all my exhibits at first, but found it was causing crazy expenses and losing me money. Level 2 seems a good compromise to keep your welfare still at 100. Yes, I've heard this, especially with some of the bigger animals, like lions and stuff. Um, mm. Wait, I hate making them with low courage. Yeah, it's not great, is it? I mean, you could get some. I mean, that doesn't look horrific. I mean, the rocks really help, thank God. Um... But yeah, as soon as this new world theme is done, we're gonna we're gonna do two habitat covers here for these little folks. To hire train mechanics work faster. I would imagine so, yeah. I would imagine so, but they want more money as well. Can't afford it, Malova. Can't afford it. Uh mechanics. Here we go. Uh now do they go they don't go anywhere to train, do they? Or do they? Employment, trainee. So, do you go somewhere to train? Let's have a look. Where are you going? Hmm. Pet surgery in quarantine. No, there's no building for training. Uh, don't forget to set your education screens. Whoops. Yes, thank you. Good spot. Aardvark. Aardvark. And then we also need some speakers in there as well, right? Boom. Aardvark. I don't know why I say it like that. Aardvark. Okay. Try them out of the way. We don't like to see them. Some sort of training in the staff room as well. It's all expensive though, isn't it? What's your cat's name? Do you have more than one? Yes, we have two. We have Ario, who's a si chocolate point Siamese, and we have Mika, who's a tuxedo um, short hair. Um, I missed 83 minutes. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're still here. We can pay some of the staff less to save money and still keep them happy. I think we're okay. We've, we've, we've earned money. Even having built Aardvarks, we're actually on more money than we were before the Aardvarks came in. You can get another vet that can do both animals. So far, I'm all right because now we've got something in for them. They're 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 in green, and that's that's the most as I can expect for. And also, we've got no hard shelter yet. So I feel bad that everyone's gone round to our box now. Look, 
No, no, nobody's looking at warthogs anymore. Come and look at warthogs. Warthogs are fun. There we go. Uh, thank you, Courtney. You are amazing. I love those little stickers things. They're great. Thank you so much for the donation. It's very generous. Uh, all the Super Chat money is going towards this bar along here as well, by the way. It just doesn't update live Super Chats. Um, so we can afford 4K monitor. Hopefully get some 4K content, although I don't know how Planet Zoo runs on 4K. Uh, Control and D is the duplicate is the shortcut for duplicate. Blimey, do you have enough water, John T? Um, oh, I know, yeah. Keep hydrated. Boom. Mm. It's because I forget to drink and I get really bad headaches. And if I just fill that up, it lasts most of the day. That, that's why I do it. So I don't have to keep getting up and getting drinks. If, I, if that wasn't in front of me... Um, I'd, I'd forget to drink and I get really awful uh, headaches from not drinking, from dehydration. Um, we went all day, had to come off uh, to watch you. You're literally my inspiration. Oh, thank you, Dizzle. Any advice for Planet Coaster Planet Zoo YouTuber who's just started off their channel? Uh, make as many videos as you can. Probably don't bother with Planet Coaster right now. I know it sounds awful, but that's what I would suggest. Oh, God, I thought it was dead. It's dead. It's not dead. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I just thought the thing was dead. I don't know why I thought it was dead. I just thought it was dead. What's up? What's up with these? What's up here? Your zoo has no security guards. It just looks so depressed, doesn't it? What monitor are you getting? I don't know yet. There's a few different options. It kind of depends which one's on sale at the time. Planet Zoo is great in 4K. Does it run okay? That's the main thing. As long as it can run okay, I, I don't mind. I love how they come and hang out on the dirt, look. Right. It's really all about... Oh, hello. Yay! Okay, so I'm gonna... What are these? <laughs> what, do I need to worry about any of them? Oh, come on. Angela Felici uh, Angela Feliciano. She wants a boyfriend. No, they're fine on their own, aren't they, Ardvox? Yeah, adult popular. She's all right. She's an independent woman who don't need no man. Uh, John C does work on 4K pretty well, although you have to make uh, a build with a high item count. It starts to really struggle unless you turn the settings down. They're pretty high in space. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Um, what my plan is that even if I even if I um, have to lower the settings a little bit, I can bump them up for like the the um, like the glamour shots, the cinematic shots at the end and stuff. Um, Where's your waterfall? You're a YouTuber. Wow, yeah. Is that a real that's a real thing now then, right? Because it's like the fourth person to ask in this stream where the waterfall is. Um Make a hard shot that way. Yes, I was that's what I was gonna do here. Um here they'll have a separate one. We're gonna build it down here for him. But I just I want um actually we might do we might do a round one there over the dirt. That could be cute. The warthogs are male and female, although they ain't they ain't jiving. Oh no, look, she's pregnant! Offspring due June year three. Oh, baby warthogs. Baby what? Is it the same person asking about the waterfalls? Yeah, alright, put another record on then, eh? Uh, high settings for gameplay, ultra for screenshots. Yes, exactly. At the minute I'm playing in ultra. I'm showing this. You're looking at Ultra now, but you're looking. You're watching 720 because I have to scale the stream down, um, which I still will with a 4K monitor, to be honest. But yeah, we we the the video is a 1080 Ultra always. Underground for the Aardvark. Yeah, I, I, part of me thinks it would be good. Then part of me thinks that I kind of want this to be a little bit of a NAF Zoo start where they, they haven't got underground. You know. Oh oh oh. Mechanics research is finally complete. We've now got the new world theme. Okay, good. So I say we've got we're definitely earning money here. I reckon we can pause for a moment. Because I just don't want things to get away from me. Mm-hmm. Shared hard shelter on an angle. Oh what, coming off here? Oh, that could work. Um oh, the terrain's a bit higher here. No, I think I like the idea of building a little circular one here. 
So let's uh, let's move into construction then, and see if we can do this. So column, love these things. Ugh, I love them. I absolutely love them. I use them for everything. We're going to build a circular. Little uh, sort of modernish looking, similar to what we did in the beta. Actually, we did we did one of these for the for the little dudes in beta, and I was really happy with how it turned out. Through quarantine, before placing them into habits, avoid getting diseases. Yes, but they can still get diseases once they're in there, right? Uh, where's the round one? Oh, X not working is a killer. Uh, what am I doing here? There's a much easier way of doing this, right? They need a multi-select hotkey. Uh, there, there is one, isn't there? Isn't it I? Yeah, I. I don't know why I always forget that, <laughs> but yeah, I is I is a multi-select hotkey. Um, okay, so construction for me to beam in there. Construction for me to beam in there. Um, may, uh, make a burrow for the... Okay, we'll do a burrow. God, people aren't going to shut up until we do a burrow, are they? Okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. This, I think, should be enough shelter for two warthogs. Because we're only ever having two in here. The rest of them are going straight on that uh, thingy. Well, until they're, until they're big, I guess. How are the cats with your son? Me and my fancy want to get a cat. But he doesn't know if he would... Uh, they're fine. They, Mika just keeps out of his way. Oreo it, it gets ragged around by him and all sorts. <laughs> Okay, looks good. All right, so let's do a two meter square one as well. There, and then a round beam. There. There, okay, and then you and you. Um, if you have an NVIDIA GPU, you can use dynamic super resolution and project 4K res on a 1080p screen. You won't see a difference, but the game will play in 4K and the recording will be. Oh, that's good to know. Um, although I'd, I'd, I'd like to see it in 4K myself. <laughs> but yeah, that's interesting. Uh, editing software. If you mean what, which editing software do I use? Let's let's try using full sentences. We're adults here. Uh, I use Premiere Pro. I still think it's super impressive that the game registers that as a valid shelter area. Yeah, it really is. I mean, it's the same system, I imagine, that knows what to paint as uh, as snow. Right? There's obviously a thing that sort of bounces from the ground up that, that can acknowledge whatever's in front of it. Which is really, yeah, like you say, really quite impressive. Okay. Probably should have done them in some slightly different colours. Oh, am I, am, I am I going over all these? Yeah, I am, aren't I? Uh, 
Yeah, I think we need to change the color of them. That's okay though, it's not an awful fix. We can put them in like that and then swap them out like that. Okay, and then if we get rid of all of these, that's a pretty simple fix. If that shadow's not been a bugger. What on earth is that tree doing? What? Whoop, whoop. That ain't right, is it? <laughs> uh, how do you know if you're building on the world grid? I watched your video building suits. Wasn't sure. There isn't, well, there isn't a world grid. The only thing that there is is the world axis. So you can always build on a, on a world axis. It's quite useful. But there isn't actually a, a fully world grid. Um, your green screen is a bit visible. Oh, it's because the it's because of the sun. Um, oh, it's gone really quite visible, hasn't it? Uh, is it better if I take them away? Yeah, okay, hold on. It's because the lighting's changed. There we go. I'll have to just, I'll have to just cook. I'll tell you what, I'll open the window a bit. That'll help. Um, there we go. Your tree is cursed. Yeah, that's real, isn't it? What? 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 <laughs> How has nobody noticed that? Have I not seen that posted anywhere? Oh, it's stopped. No, it hasn't stopped. It's still going. <laughs> what on earth? Why I missed one. Okay, do the same here. I'm just give me a second. Do all them. Um, it's pitch black for me. It's only eight thirty. I get. I mean, it gets dark here early. To be honest, it's dark at like five-ish here. But yeah, it's very, very. I mean, blue, crystal blue skies at the minute. It's gorgeous. Oh, I think we've lost a. We've lost a pole there. Look. How awful. Okay, there we go. That's looking all right, isn't it? Pokemon in. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, is that a Lod thing with three? I don't think so. Because that's not how Lods work. It's happening on all of them. Not that one. What? That's really creepy. <laughs> uh, you can multi-select change the colour now. Yes, I am well aware, but these aren't recolorable items. That's why we had to replace them with a different piece. Uh, if you click on a balloon, it pops them. Yes. I didn't know that. Yeah. What happened to Geekism Studio Visios? Oh, uh, yeah, we, we, we didn't finish that project. Um, you put a little thing like the shelters for the animal and get... Will you put little thing like shelters for the animal and the guests or other bits and bobs on the workshop so you don't have to rebuild them every time and help some of the viewers out? Uh, yeah, I can do, I guess. Like little things like this. Um, I suppose, yeah. Okay. Neaten up. Neaten up some of this then. Okay. The book of love is old and boring. Oh, 
didn't mean to actually take that, so I'll just replace it. Okay, now one thing I will say about this is I think the whole thing is a little tall right now, so let's drop it down a bit. Okay, and also before we carry on, let's check how hard shelter they're happy about now. Boom, thank god. Uh, we put Geek of Steel in the workshop. Uh, no, probably not. A uh, long time no see, John. So you haven't tuned in recently, but it's uh, been busy. Good to be back. Welcome back, Brad. Good to have you here. Is there a schedule for live streams every Monday, 1 p.m. Uh, Eastern? Um, it looks all right, but it looks a bit too perfect. Yes, it's very neat. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. We'll probably... Uh, wriggle around some of the bits later on. Let's make that a little lower so it can be the supporting bar. There we go. Um, okay, now it's a bit lower. That's better. We can work with this. Okay, so. Um, kind of kind of keep this simple, to be honest, I think. Kind of just, uh, just have a light pillar there. Not everyone. I think every other one is probably the way to go. Yeah. I think actually this uh, this top bit needs to be a little lower. Looks a bit umbrellary. That's better. And I wonder if I wonder if turn it one. Um, now we'll have little piggies. There we go. Well, well, she, the one of them's pregnant. Um, the the female, unsurprisingly, that's the boy there, isn't it? Yeah, Brian. Where are you? Uh, Cassie. Cassie's due June. <gasps> A few months, not long. Um, maybe use one central support in the center would look nice. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it doesn't look like it's been held up there. That's not a bad idea, actually. But have that have that as well as uh, as well as the exterior ones. I think. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, good show. Good call. Um, didn't see you had a live. Oh no worries, Anna. Uh, we just we started a franchise zoo, and so far we've got two of uh, three of our Mercedes Benz logos set up with some warthogs here. There we go. So we've got a little. Uh, so there's a modern African style, I guess you could call it. Could you call it that? I don't know. I'm going to call it that. Um, what I think I would like to do is just try and snap them in there. Again, continue that support. Oh, you ain't gonna rotate nice, are you? There we go. There we go. People say, you know, you've got to be careful with money and stuff. You can do so much with just some little cheap items there. I mean, that whole thing has cost us about a grand, I think. I say it looks pretty good. And now we'll play. And now we shall play. I mean, they they are they are loving it. Those little warthogs. Now they they're so happy. I mean, they're not amazingly happy. We still need some toys for them. But I mean, everything else is pretty solid. Uh, Spectre's here, which is perfect timing. I think we need to pause again, to be honest, because I think we need to get a shelter sorted for the aardvark. Where are you? Social's fine. Nutrition's not awful. Oh, 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 we got the we got the first level done for Aardvarks, didn't we? Um, now it's out for console. Will there be a new DLC for Planet Coaster? No, I don't think so. I think, if anything, being out for console kind of confirms they're done with the PC. I, I don't know, really. 
but I, I'm a bit of a pessimist when it comes to this sort of thing. Uh, they don't need bedding, Brads, actually, no. Um, bedding is uh, is completely superfluous. Uh, whereabouts in Ontario are you from? Uh, I'm just out of Toronto, it's miserable out here. Uh, please send us your blue skies. Well, I'm from the UK, but I live in London, so not only only hour and a half down the 401. If you don't get your plane on pause soon, you won't be earning any CC. On another note, letting franchise run for babies while drawing and knitting is double productive. Yeah, I know a lot of people have like... Um... What's this? Where's the keeper? Why have we got smelly food? Hmm... Is it time for keeper number two? I was really hoping one keeper would manage three little animals here. Poor smelly food. Poor aardvark. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna let the game run while we try and build a little shelter for the aardvark. I'm not gonna do a burrow. Not not now. Maybe maybe in the future, we can uh, we can look back on this moment and laugh about how I didn't do a burrow. But I think I just want to do a simple. Uh, simple shelter here, and then and then eventually we'll, I want to re obviously do this building so it looks a bit nicer too. Uh, you're in London. How is it still sunny there? London, Ontario, Canada, not not London, UK. Um, but yes, it's it's lovely. Thank you, gamer, for the super chat. Uh, could you please build a fountain? I'm, <laughs> it sounds horrible, but I, d I don't normally take requests from super chats because otherwise we would never actually get anything done. Although. I think when somebody was talking about what what could go here, a little tiny fountain there would actually be pretty good. So maybe we'll do that in a moment. Oh, come on. Uh, how's that for coverage? Are you, are you pleasant? Um, good quality stories for Planet Coaster. Any ideas? M uh, my channel? <laughs> I got quite a few. The quality is questionable, I suppose, but I've got quite a few tutorials on Planet Coaster. A spam fountain. Is that what I said? <laughs> Favorite YouTube is much love. Thank you, Mickey. I just, I love these woods. Beams, man. That's just my favourite. I could build so much with them. Uh, can you make a tutorial on scenery? I mean, there's a building tutorial. Uh, what, if, what do you mean by specifically by scenery? There's plenty of room there to do. More like that. I think no, no. I think lower down actually, and then part of the there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, can I put in a request to do a quick save for the sake? Uh, yeah. Oh, Joe, you know I'm assuming because it's 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 um online, it saves automatically. Okay. It's, okay. So we've got. I want to see the. I want to see the. I want to see the report. We've got five star cleanliness, one star education, four stars for each of the exhibits. Okay, I'll take that. Education needs to be worked on, but we can do that. Oh man, this sun is bright. Um. Watching you and others building so calming, totally motivating me to at least try and build some of my own stuff. But for now, I am horrible. It's it is literally just time and and patience and effort. It really is. And, and you'll get there. You'll get. You'll start getting an eye for stuff that looks good. Yeah, that's okay, isn't it? Oh, 
Uh, Palsley has dominated the tutorial market Planet Zoo. Palsley has done a tutorial on how to breathe whilst playing Planet Zoo. <laughs> <clears throat> Hello from the Netherlands. Hello there. All right. Okay. I, I I'd say two animals. Happy-ish. We got we we got enrichment. We got enrichment for aardvarks. Do be nice. Large barrel feeder. Boom. Decent enough welfare now. All right, I'm happy with that. That's a decent start, okay? Um, watching this while procrastinating my paper due tomorrow. No, go and do your paper. It's way more important. Um, doodle -doo -doo. <laughs> Just got to chill out under there. Okay, cool. All right, do we do we squeeze one more in? Do we squeeze one more one more habitat in here then? So we're gonna go. It's gonna be here, isn't it? So there. Wood. Um, Arvart needs some toy enrichment. Yes, does Brad? We just don't have any research yet. We're playing in franchise mode, so we have to uh, we have to make do amend. But what we can do is complete this little uh, spot we've got going on with a third animal so what what's gonna what's gonna fit as a uh... <laughs> those are the facts boom uh thank you renegades thanks for the super chat keep it up i will that's very motivational i like it there we go look at that who's going who's living here Right, so first of all, we need to do. Let's take one of you. Put you there. Oops. Oh, God. Take you across to there. Shame we can't have that window showing, but it's going to mess up the. Uh, it's going to mess up the habitat too much otherwise. Right, there we go. There, that, that will be eventually the size of that building and everything in it. Um. Oh come on! Is that because the path there? It might be because this 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 might end everything. No, no, yeah. Terrain modification. What terrain modification? Don't flatten the terrain then. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so that's... Okay, so that's all of it except for the staff room. Okay. I think that's... I think that works. Do you, do you know ever get P-files? I know how noisy aren't they as well. Now, Manus says... A, a tortoise would kind of make sense, like, for ease... Um, pangolins, I don't know, I feel like we should do something more special with them. They're like really super rare and stuff. Like these are just like, yeah, you know, little farty things. I just, is there any, is there a third one of those kind of things? We've got, we've got aardvarks. See, tapir kind of, I mean, they're, they're kind of in danger as well, I know, but. Just trying to think if there's a third one that kind of fits in that little group. There really isn't, is there? Bungos would fit. They have really small space needs. Do they really? Tapers need water. That's fine. We can we can give tapers. 
Wild dog. No, no one in the space for wild dogs. Are you sure bongos don't need much room? Oh yeah, 240. That that isn't much at all actually. Um It's not connected to the circle anymore. Oh whoops, thank you. Oof. I I feel like everything's connected. Um, <laughs> How about an elephant? Yeah, nice one. <laughs> Doesn't reach for space and he's extremely cheap. Your cam is placed in a bad place. We can't see the animals. Well, oh yeah. The problem is, no matter what menu I've got open, there's a there's a bad place for the camera, unfortunately. And and I, and I'm a, I, I insist on having my face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Let's move it down there for now, hey? Um, hello, uh, sis. Uh, goodbye and thank you for entertaining me. You're welcome, Mr. Matt. Thanks for stopping by. Komodo dragons. Again, I kind of feel like they should be indoors so we can moderate the temperature a bit more. <gasps> we totally missed it. We've had babies. The education's gone down for some reason. We had babies. We had two babies. Hi, babies. Right, hold on then. Let's, let's, let's make sure we're all on top of our... Uh, on top of our babies. Uh, how'd you go first person? Name a staff member Tejid Cam. That'll, uh, that'll do it for you. Okay, so let me just have a look here. Animals. Four. Yeah, Cassie's car, Brendan. So, Mumina. Two girls. Okay, that's not ideal because the boy's getting on a bit. But, okay. Two girls. Juvenile. What? Why is your enrichment so low? Oh, your food enrichment is just rubbish. Okay. Uh, you're going to be called Wissy. Uh, a Patreon name and... And the other one is Roo. Roo. Thank you very much for the support. You are now baby warthogs. Ah, so we didn't do what we said we were going to do here, did we? So this needs to move. Because I, 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 these are fine, but I feel like this pipe always needs to be near, near to a fitting like that. Okay. First time streaming because I've been at school. Oh, hi, Harry. Um, how about just rotating the staff room to solve the path problem? I don't think we have one now. I, I think that's fine now. And also, if we rotated the staff room, it would cause a problem here because they're long and thin, annoyingly. Face cam to fit the inside screen. Problem solved. That's a great idea. How's that? Let's just play like this. <laughs> um, if we, we can't move it back a little bit because then it's going to affect this wall here. It's fine there where it is. It's not a problem, I don't think. Okay, let's just uh, smooth. There we go. Sorry, Warthog. Hope it doesn't affect you too much. Okay, so there's your water. And then all this kind of needs to be leveled out a bit there, right? Because this was all... It was all ready for, uh, ready for something. Well, it, who gets boxed up? Anyone? Well, no, you've all managed. Good job. Okay, so Warthogs, you're looking good. Um, Aardvark, you love it up here, don't you? Always hanging out up there, aren't you? You're doing okay. Oh, you're getting on a bit. I feel like that's why you need pairs of them. It says that babies come in, right? Let's see if we can get a... That's a that's a girl, right, that one? Yeah, let's see if we can get a boy war, uh, Aardvark. 122. That's, right, let's go for it. Because otherwise, I didn't even look at the stats. Oh no, I need to remember to look at stats. Um, at the art file, one speaker seems to be above ground still. Oh yeah, good spotted. 
Animals escaped. Yeah, but... She hasn't, though. Okay, thanks. <laughs> um, yeah, speaker, sorry. Yeah, good spot. Baby Arvart, so good. Um, um, I'm a celebrity starts in half an hour. Oh, yeah? They'll be eating animals on that, right? Simba's okay. He's just a bit on the small side. It, was it called Simba? Here it comes. What's called Simba? Let me see. Oh, good. Yeah, that's not that's not bad at all, actually. And Simba is now being uh, Mr. Andy TF. <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> Mr. Andy TF. Boom. The staff room isn't connected. Is it not? Okay, so hold on. Let's split, let's split it from group. Yeah, look, there were people in there. It was fine. There we go. It was fine, like I said. Um, check the barriers of the warthogs just in case. No, barriers are fine. I think it was just that um, I'd done some terrain there and it was getting a bit goosey. So we need to keep an eye for when these grow up then so we can get them so we can probably get well no i don't put the old girl on there do i because that's not fair we'll put we'll sell one of them and keep the other one i don't want to put the old the old girl on the on the thingy because they'll people just get annoyed at buying one that's about to die uh why has it gone night we're not open at night <laughs> um Please, please say hello to Mama and Papa Malova. But Mama and Papa Malova. Wow, it's a family uh, family reunion. Hey, Mama Malova. How's it going, my love? I hope you're very well. I hope you're keeping your son on the straight and narrow. Um, they have announced they're not eating bugs this year. Oh, right. Well, that kind of removes half the show. Inefficient. I think it's because of... Um, where are you looking? Efficiency. No, it's efficient. I guess it's how many people are using them. Inefficient, that one. I don't know. You alright there, mate? Are you down there, pal? Cal Bell, I'm feeling generous tonight. Could be the Jack Daniels, though. Good to be part of the live streams again. It's very welcome. Very nice to have you back, Cal. Uh, thanks for the donation. Um... Yeah, the Jack Daniels does that to you, doesn't it? Uh, it's weird, you know, because all the British people who've been watching me for years are all now five or six hours, five hours later. So it's like it's middle of the afternoon here and all the British people are like, I'm on me fourth, Jack and Daniels! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe your fence is too low. No, it was because I did some changes here. It's fine. It's it's sorted. And they can go way high. That's not a problem either. The problem with the lemurs is it's a it's an it's a it's a pathfinding problem. So if you just uh, if you just change that bit of wood where they're getting caught, it'll go away. Let's see a video live. Welcome, Emily. Uh, said inefficient a minute ago. I think it's how many people use it. It's inefficient again there. Look, because only so many people can go in it. Maybe. I don't really know. There's all grass on the ground. It's filthy. How's like Canada? My sister's about to move there. Love it. Love the place. Can't get enough of it. Why are you just getting... Oh, you need more food. Okay. Large food bowl. How's that? Um... A pangolin. I, said, I feel like I should, we should, pangolins are cute. Well, I don't know. I feel like we should. They should be a bit more like special. You know. Let's have a look how much they are. Hey. Eh? Let's have a look. Are they? Are they something pangolin? 
Hate that, by the way, as well. Like saltwater crocodile. It should say crocodile brackets saltwater. Chinese pangolin. There we go. Um, can you show the list of animals to decide uh, which should be the third animal? So here we here we're looking at them now. Here we go. So we're looking at these ones, these few top ones here. So there are cause some that are real super cheap, but like crappy read or crappy genes and everything. I'm gonna just gonna try. Oh, okay. It's a girly pangolin. I mean that. Yeah, they are them. Vet research is complete. Nice. What what are you researching? Uh, aardvark. Wow, the aardvarks are getting it. Um, so hold on then. I need to just stop that because you're going to jump onto pangolins as soon as they're in. So animal trading. Chinese pangolin. Ming Mei. Move. There we go. I just bought bongos I don't think fit with the farty funky things that we're putting down here, you know. But that's not their names. Yes, I know, but like, it, uh, if I want to find panda, I look under P, and then there I will find panda, giant, panda, red. But personally, that's just how my head works. Um, yeah. Hey, John, how's it going? Hey, Jigglepin. Hey, Jack. Uh, sorry, Samuel. Hi, welcome. Right, come on then, get this, get this pangolin in. Let's see how we get on. Boom. My first one of these. Oh, it's still, it's still forming in. There we go. Okay. So it ain't very big, is it? It's right. It needs hard shelter. It's not got right terrain. Does it need climbing? Oh, I thought they climbed. Um. I feel like penguin is too close to an aardvark. Yeah, I mean, it's the same sort of animal, right? But I just think because they're like, there's like twenty of them in the wild or something ridiculous. The guy just came. Oh no! People comment all the time saying that they that their cats listen to me. That's the first time I've ever had a cat not like me. It was you, fuck your cats. <laughs> river bush tree. Which one's the river bush tree? Right. So you need to move out. There's that. Right. Um. Maybe you should just look for what you're searching somewhere in the name, not necessarily. Yes, but it's al but the list's alphabetical, Liam. <laughs> Uh, animal search box. Well, yes, a search box would be great. Is this career? This is a franchise. So we're playing on the internet. Right. So let's get the major things up. Donation bins. Yes, somebody just mentioned them there. Donation bins and these things. Let's get them. We kind of go. We're, we've kind of got a, a rhythm now, haven't we? For these. So we put them down. And we put them down. And we put. I hate having them on the path. I don't like them clipping through the glass either. But that'll do. Okay, so I'm just I'm sticking with the theme, like I say, as if as if this was all built at the same time. I'm sticking with the feel that that all of these are low, low, low. And we've got glass on either side. I don't really know why. I just think it's a decent thing to stick with. And it sort of, you know, completes the, the space. Um, get another beer. Borrow request incoming. Yeah, maybe we will borrow for the pangolin. Maybe we will. Or maybe we just copy and paste this building over here. Because that's just more, that's more in keeping with the idea that it was all built at the same time. But so I'll tell you what, we'll take, we'll take this over as some shelters, just so we've got it up and running, right? Because Muddy's coming in now, I think, so we're doing all right. We're doing okay. So I'm gonna put this in 
So so it so it's got its shelter. And then we might do a little semi burrow anyway, okay? Um when do you plan to end the stream? Oh, 10 minutes ago. We'll go we'll go for a bit more. We might as well finish this habitat and then we'll finish up. So All right. So what what sort of what sort of stuff do you like? Your Asian tropical and temperate. Okay, so we're going to have a slightly different looking thing here then. It doesn't really fit, but temperate. There we go. Third habitat also completes the Mercedes sponsorship. Yes, exactly. I'm going to earn all the revenue now. Okay. So, oh, oh, pangolins actually like trees. That's ace. Finally get some decent foliage in one of them. Um, yeah, come on. Give me, a, give me a big old tree. No, not that big. That's ridiculous. Don't be a stupid game. So we do have to kind of be careful that we're not going to go too close to the opposite ones there. But love me some foliage. See, so my obvious choice would be there, but you've just got to make sure it doesn't go through. That's probably okay. I suppose the easiest way to check is just to have a little look at a warthog. Yeah, you're okay. There we go. So, um, nature, tropical. Let's do some temperate rocks. Because um, we haven't got temperate here, we've got savannah there, so you know, we've got a different kind of rock here. That's okay. Uh, let's click the same rock here. There we go. Um, I help with pangolin in my zoo. Yes, heck yeah. Good. <laughs> uh, are there any animals you'd like to have added? Uh, penguins, meerkats, polar bears, um, lots more North American animals. Yeah, there you go. There's enough to work with. Do, 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 do. Anyone tipsy yet? Me? <laughs> I'm not. Don't really drink much anymore. Is that my phone ringing? Nope. Dee dee do do. I don't know why, but I want a big old rock sticking out there, okay? Uh, mouse collaboration offer. No, no, I don't know what is up with the mouse. I've noticed it on Skystorm's stream as well, but some people I haven't noticed it on. For some reason, it, the, the stream renders the mouse in a smaller mon in a smaller monitor space. It's really annoying. Don't know how to fix it. Can't find any more talk about it anywhere. Look at my hand gets clipped off there. How good is that? If you do that, it kind of gets rid of the... <laughs> it gets rid of the, uh, the mystique. Da, 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 da. Have you ever been to Africa? I've been to Tunisia. Yeah. Uh, does this zoo have a theme? Uh, cheap <laughs> to start off with. No, it's more focused on sort of getting some good animals off the workshop, really, and chatting with you guys. So, yeah. They like places to hide. Well, they've got lots of places to hide now. They can hide behind it here. And obviously, we're going to get some heavy foliage in here as well because they love the foliage. So, temperate. Let's go back to uh, no Asian no 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 no, 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 no okay um do -do 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 -do. this live is usually yes it goes up it's normally up within like an hour I guess but it do, it does go online afterwards yeah. Yeah, it goes up, um, goes up afterwards. Oh, I'm telling you now, folks, by the way, just while I've got your undying attention, tomorrow's video, um, I genuinely think, and I think I've said this before, but I, I honestly, now nah, there's a new top. I genuinely think it's the best thing I've made in the game so far. That's coming out tomorrow. Can't wait to share it with you and get some feedback because I, I genuinely think it's, it's the best thing I've done. Love this bracket. Oh, 
those are the facts. Thank you very much, uh, Alicia Jack Jacobson. Alicia Jacobson, thank you. I don't know why I struggled reading that. <laughs> um, thank you very much for the donation. It's very generous. Love these things. Oh, I just love the fact that we can have some more foliage. Pangolin, pangolin wins on the plenty of foliage front. Love it. Love being able to stack up some foliage. The good thing is we don't have to worry too much about hitting stuff this side either because there's uh, there's nothing. I quite like this hawthorn bush. Don't use this too often, but I think it's looking good here. See here, we have to watch a little that it doesn't clip over into warthogs. But otherwise, I think we're I think we're safe. Um, probably still too much. Oh yeah, I haven't I haven't done the terrain paint yet. I wanted to put all that in so we can look at doing some runs again because I think it, I think it, it adds a bit of realism to see where they're where they're running. I like it. Uh, so terrain, yeah, way too much long grass, nowhere near enough soil. Oh, they want. Oh, okay, so they actually want soil. So maybe not not maybe no to runs then because we're going to struggle. Foot, right, there's forty two percent of that is long grass. I think you're talking crap. I'm guessing it's all under here. Or you want to hope it's all under here because okay, it's down to twenty eight. Oof. There was a great meme. There's that, you know, that woman doing that. Um, somebody put like it was like the green grass on this long grass, and there was like looking at the thing. There was none of it like that. <laughs> You have an animal box. I do. I do. Cassie Carr again. Where are you going, Cassie Carr, to cause these issues? Okay, let's uh, let's open up the pangolin. Okay. okay. So you're chilling over here. How are you getting on? Your welfare's pretty good, despite having still too much long grass. Where on where is this long grass ish? Can't even see like here. I mean what you want to do is just paint the whole thing soil, right? And then just start over. Uh, right, there we go. Long grass is down now. So soil and... You know what? That's fine. Whatever. It's just... It's dirt, isn't it? It looks fine. Um, okay, so that's done. Environment is fine. Enrichment. So obviously, we need some enrichment. Uh, adult population is good. Okay, so overall, I don't... Unless one of those enrichment things carries over... Oh, oh, oh! We've got some more for an aardvark there, haven't we? Okay. Species aardvark. A ball! Get your ball. Enjoy your ball. Okay, so that's hard Vark. Let's see if any of it works for uh, warthogs. Common. Um, no, just that. Just a small barrel feeder again, in mind. Okay, so Chinese pangolin. Come on, come on. Okay, small ball. Okay, so I haven't got any food for you. Oh, which we need to put down, actually. But you've got a... Uh, you've got a small ball. Okay, there's your water, and a small food bowl should be fine, there's only you. Okay, there we go. Um, Jonty, when does your zoo school start? Oh, sorry, Jiggle Pin. Sorry, with, oh, you spamming. Don't spam, I'll get there. I read up. <laughs> uh, um, soon, soon. Thank you, Awesome, yeah. Good, good shout. Um, just got an albino lion cub, nice. 
Um, I've watched you since Planet Coaster. You were in, um, you were in Inspection. Uh, I love your videos for ages, but I never played it because I have a console. It's in tears when they announced it. Oh yeah, it should be awesome. I'm really glad for people getting to play it for the first time. Um, uh, I just joined Quick Zoo Tour. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, we've just started. It's a franchise zoo that we're starting up. So we've got we've got three little folks there now. I'm kind of happy with that. Food, water, and Richmond's education donation. Yeah, so food, water, enrichment, education, donation. Food, water, enrichment, education, donation. Food, water, enrichment, education, donation. We're laughing. So the idea now is to just leave that running, right? And earn, earn cash. Now, I've just thought, I don't think we have the pieces. I was going to I was gonna finish with a little fountain. We can't do a fountain. We have no fountain pieces. They come with the, the classic theme. Sorry. <laughs> I'll work on it. Uh, you know, it's geekism colours in the background. I'm assuming the green screen because it can't handle Nicola. That's because I can't imagine Nicola let you paint. Well, yes, it is a green screen. Yeah. Do you want to? Do you want to see the? Do you want to see behind the magic? Incredible! There actually isn't a wall behind me. It's a dining table. I'm currently in the living room still. Um, education. Oh yeah, education boards. They're important, right? Never, never too sure about where to put these. I don't, just, I don't really want them on there. Maybe in between here would make sense. Like in between the exhibits. Yeah, there's a good spot for one, isn't it? Okay, so I'm gonna. Somebody just said, said about putting a roof on the building. And that's actually gonna be uh, episode one of this series, basically. So we'll we'll do that uh, after the live stream is finished. So, um, so D, so they, so they're more more thingy animals, aren't they? So climate change probably suitable for them. I know it doesn't really matter, but I'm just trying to like thematically try and get it right. Um. We can do deforestation. I know it's an issue for pangolins, um, and this one can be uh, po poaching. Do people poach aardvarks? No, people don't poach aardvarks. Oh, traditional medicine. I think. Oh, that's a, that actually has the pangolin on it, so that seems to be the probably better option there, right? There we go. Pogoli. Ah, oh, people are pretty happy. Yeah, we'll we'll sort this out in the next episode. And I'm thinking I'm going to try for flamingos here. That that that's pretty good. Um, you mean you haven't got a proper office? No, not at the moment because we're living in an apartment since we moved to Canada. So um, hopefully, um, hopefully, uh, some point in did I get a haircut? Uh, yeah, uh, a few days ago, I guess. Um, um, this is also going to be live streams of it. No, this is going to be videos as well. We're gonna um, we're gonna finish the. Uh, we're going to end career mode with with the last video tomorrow and then we're going to do this as our as our sort of uh, filler content instead because I'm just not really enjoying career mode. So yeah, we'll do this, something with this building, make it look nice. Um if they no, inbreeding will tank um statistics actually, Stacey, yeah, inbreeding will tank statistics. So in that case, we probably are better flogging our animals, right? It's difficult to, to work out because you've got because you've got to figure out whether or not this guy here. Like the problem is he's he's nearly elderly, right? Had offspring, so she's probably all right for another go. <laughs> um, so what I think I'm going to do is is try and sell these two and buy another young stud to bring in and see if she'll have another litter. I think that's probably the way to go about it because I don't want to sell bad ones. I don't want to sell ones that are about to die or have bad genes or whatever. These should, this thing's annoying me. Let me, can I do something about this? Every time they, every time the staff walk in, it rolls off. 
Um, can you keep still? Keep... Oh, you little terror. Come here. There you go. Gotcha. Um, should have, like, decent... See, that's death. decent stats there, look. As is that one. Yeah, as soon as they grow up, I'll sell them both and use the use the CC to buy another boy for... Um, for Ke Kerry? Kerry? Cassie. There we go. Um... There you go. Fountain, yes, or was that a waste of money? Again, I don't, I don't build off the donation. Sorry, because that's it's just not how I roll. I will put a fountain here, but unfortunately, I don't have any fountain parts available right now. <laughs> um, yeah, but I think a little fountain would be quite cute there. For a few hours' work, this was great. She's all right for another go. Is that what I said? Oh, that's awful. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah, I think that's pretty. That's not bad, is it? I think, yeah, we'll finish this building off. We'll rebuild it with some nice wood and stuff. Yeah, I think, we've, I think we're not doing so bad there. Um, yeah. Good stuff. Right, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for all the donations. Thanks. Uh, welcome if you're new. Uh, like I say, tomorrow's, there'll be a career mode. It's going to be the last one for now. But then the other video we do tomorrow. Oh, man. I'm so happy, so proud of what I've done. Um, so you'll see that at 1 o'clock Eastern. Uh, better to keep the baby piggies and sell dad uh, by a new male who can breed with mom. Yes, but the problem is, if I sell dad, where is he? Right. Um, come here, dad. He's, if I, like, I could sell him now. But he's about to turn elderly, and then he can't reproduce or anything. And that's just that's not fair. That I'm not. I don't want to give. I don't want to give him to someone else. That, that that's not fair. So, um, buy a good new one to breed. No, because I don't. Because somebody will buy that and it'll die as it walks in the pen. And I'm not. That's not. How I'm interested in playing. I'll sell the good ones. That's that's how this works. That's how it should work. I think. But I think we'll get we'll get another. We'll get another round out of her. It's in fact, do you know what? He could he could pull his finger out just before he gets elderly. He could pop what? Oh, you're fixing the wall. Okay, you could pop one off, so to speak, and uh, that would really help. Actually, do you want to? Do you want to, Brian? Do you want to get in there? No. Right, I'm out of here anyway. Thanks, folks. Love you all to bits. See you next time. Bye.